Hello everyone, and congratulations on being selected to play on your school's unified flag football team. If you are a coach, thank you for taking on what can be a fun and rewarding role in shaping your individual players into a cohesive unit on and off the field. If you are a player, competing on a unified sports team is an honor and a privilege and a lot of fun. Hopefully the information in this short video will help everyone get the most out of the unified high school sports experience. Unified Sports brings students with or without intellectual disabilities together to train and compete alongside one another. The Special Olympics athletes and Unified partners are equal members with equal responsibilities on this team, and therefore throughout the season they should be referred to in most cases as players or teammates and not labeled otherwise. However, in this course we will sometimes describe players as athletes or Unified partners in order to make a point. Like every other high school athlete at your school, the players on this team are expected to represent their school in a positive way on the playing field, in the classroom, and in the community. And, also like all the high school players at your school, the players on this unified team are expected to attend and be on time for every practice and game, and make sure that you are physically, mentally, and emotionally ready to play. In a nutshell, be a good teammate. Nationally, there are three levels of play for unified sports, recreational, developmental, and competitive. Here in Delaware, we play competitive. Competitive style follows the rules of the sports national governing body and Special Olympics. In the competitive style, it is often difficult to identify the Special Olympics athletes and the unified partners because of similar age and ability. This enables every team in every game to try their hardest to win, just like all of the other teams at your school. Playing at the competitive level means that everyone is going to try their hardest to pull a flag from your belt, whether they are an athlete or unified partner. They're also going to try and intercept passes, no matter who is playing quarterback. And on offense, expect everyone to run their hardest and do their best to dodge oncoming flag pullers. But competitiveness aside, like in any sport, at any level, every coach and player should compete with integrity. What is integrity? Integrity in sports is promoting fair and honest performances through positive conduct by athletes, coaches, officials, and supporters. By doing so, you enhance the overall positive reputation of unified flag football. It is expected that everyone involved in unified sports will practice and compete with an understanding that each player should have opportunities for meaningful involvement, and no one player should dominate any aspect of a game or practice. So what is meaningful involvement? If your team is formed correctly, each team member will have at least the basic sport-specific skills and knowledge of the game. Meaningful involvement is a player positively contributing to the team, ideally in a variety of ways where they can achieve success. As mentioned earlier, meaningful involvement is a philosophy of ensuring that every player has an opportunity to positively contribute to the team, ideally in a variety of ways where they can achieve success. The philosophy of any sports team at your high school starts with the head coach. So, in order for your team to understand and incorporate the concept of meaningful involvement, you can count on the coaching staff to be on board with this philosophy, and making sure all of the players are too. Here is a short video describing the role of a unified sports head coach. A unified coach has a key role in the unified team. She or he has a responsibility to form the team and to ensure that it's working as a team. He or she is facilitator for social inclusion and meaningful involvement in the team. The coach needs to demonstrate and support this philosophy during training and competition. He or she has the same role and authority to all players with and without intellectual disabilities and cannot be a player on the team. Inclusion and team building also can be developed through socialising activities off the court, such as barbecues, weekend trips, watching movies together. Now let's give some examples of meaningful involvement in flag football. Some might think that if a player is hiking the ball, they are not meaningfully involved. But if you think about it, the skill it requires to hike a ball between your legs and get it accurately into the quarterback's hands is not an easy skill. And if it's not done correctly, the play is blown dead. So being a center might not be as exciting as scoring a touchdown, but it is a way to be meaningfully involved. And don't forget, the center can also go out for a pass after they hike the ball and be even more meaningfully involved. And who knows, they may even score a touchdown. 
Another way in a football game to ensure that everyone has an opportunity for meaningful involvement is to make sure you are running plays on offense that involve both the unified partners and the athletes. It doesn't mean that if the quarterback is a unified partner that they can't throw to another unified partner, but if an athlete is clearly the most open wide receiver, then the throw should be to that player. Now let's talk about player domination. No player, whether a unified partner or athlete, should dominate the game. What is domination? Domination is when a player, whether they are a unified partner or an athlete, continually displays superior sports skills without involving their teammates. Domination can also be a player controlling the most critical points of a game, like on fourth down or goal line situations. To avoid this, coaches should make sure to call a variety of plays where the athlete is sometimes the first running or passing option, and this is true for every game situation, including fourth downs and extra point conversions. It also holds true for late game situations when the score is close and the game might be on the line. On a passing play, once the play is called in the huddle, if it is an athlete who is the first option, it is the quarterback's job, if at all possible, to make the pass to the athlete. Sure, if they aren't open, then the quarterback should go to the second option, but the quarterback should never not throw to the first option just because it is an athlete and not a unified partner. However, there will be times when it might seem like a player is dominating, but they really are not. There is nothing wrong with the same receiver catching two or three passes on the same drive, or the running back carrying the ball more than once. That's not necessarily player dominance, but instead is just the nature of any team sport. But if that same player continues to be the primary receiver or ball carrier, series after series, or is the only player who touches the ball on fourth down, then that becomes player dominance, and it should be avoided. Coaches, this is where you come in. It is important for you to reiterate this play execution strategy to your quarterbacks, and if for some reason they won't listen, the best thing to do is put someone at the position who will. Remember, while winning is important, doing so with integrity is the way to go. The most successful high school teams in any sport play with integrity. A successful team is made up of qualified coaches who instill the concepts of unselfish teamwork into their players at every practice and game, and who make sure every player is meaningfully involved to the best of their capabilities. A successful team regularly participates in practices, so they are well prepared for several competition experiences throughout the season. Lastly, on a successful team, the coaches and players avoid allowing any one player to dominate and do their best to give everyone quality playing time with plenty of meaningful experiences. Coaches, as we wrap this up, please take the time on the next slide to use the QR code to fill out a very brief survey that will let us know your team completed this video and give you an opportunity to tell us what you'd like to see added to it. It will only take a minute to complete. Players, it's an exciting time for you as a high school athlete. The season is just getting underway and the goal of every team is to win a state championship. Just please remember there is a letter I in integrity. What that means is playing with integrity starts with each individual member of the team, the coaches, the athletes, and the unified partners. If everyone plays with integrity individually, that means that collectively the team will also. Have a great season and remember, play smart, Play hard, but with integrity, and have fun. Coaches, please pause the video at this time and scan the QR code on the right to complete the Google form to verify that your team has viewed the Unified Sports Play With Integrity video. Thank you.